I found it. Senpai? Uh, making some adjustments to my stream earlier, like stream and stuff, because I might start streaming again. Um, yeah. I removed Shaggy from staff because. Good. Yeah. It's still you and Nicholas and my friend Ryo, so. Anything the game doesn't involve with, I'm happy with. <laughs> I, uh, okay. Put the back in a hat and curse chat, by the way. I feel like it would look slightly better if he was holding a hammer instead of a loop. Why? I don't know why. It just seems a bit more chaotic because I feel like that has to be. The cat in the hat who plays songs for children holding a hammer. I mean, have you actually seen the um, cat in the hat? There is a thing with him holding a bat. Glitch, what is this? I literally just got a fucking 30 minute freaking ad on your stream. 30 minute? No, it's literally like two minutes, but I'm being over exaggerating. Oh, I'm still, I'm still I watching the stream. I didn't choose this shit. <laughs> That's not me. At at Twitter, not Twitter. Sorry, at yeah, Twitch. Well, last week. Oh fuck my fan. The uh, the five of you had a rather brutal fight on Yester Hill. You managed to halt some kind of ritual, collect a magic gem. As well as you found a uh, a blood spear and a magic axe. Yeah. Treebane. Thanks you a question. You think I add that to you, you. you took a short rest, uh, so you should have your you should have used some of your hit die. And it's time for you to hey, to uh, to start the trek back second, to uh, the winery. The game rages after a short rest, right? Hmm? I should I rage just from a short or a long rest. Uh, look up Barbarian and find out. I am reading. Long rest. Okay then, long rest. No re no uh no rage. I mean, I still have two rages. It's just... I was checking if. Hmm. So how do I add that uh, axe to my sheet? Oh right, thank you for reminding me. I huh? forgot about that completely. I was gonna add the axe to his sheet because he's the one who tuned to it. Oh. Believe it or not, I'm used to pen and paper. I would have just wrote it down. Let me up Treebane real quick so I can add that. It's plus one axe, okay. What kind of axe is it again? Or is it listed there? It's in the magic items list. Weapon, axe. It's a battle axe. Okay. Battle axe. Giving it to tree thing. So, and do I take um, penalties for using it? You don't. Well, actually, you take penalties in the sense that you're not you're not uh, proficient in uh, the weapon. That's what I meant. Bonus. You won't. Yeah. yeah. You if you're if you're attacking with it, you won't use your proficiency bonus. I mean, hey, you can take a level one fighter, so you gain proficiency with martial weapons. Uh, 
Wait, that's not how that works. Yes, it is. No, it's not. What? When you when you multi-class your second class, you don't gain proficiency. Yeah, you from don't it. gain the proficiencies from it. I mean, you get certain proficiencies, yeah. Not the not no. the equipment proficiencies, no. No. Then what the hell is the profi the multi-classing proficiency table for? Uh, anyways, uh, you start your trek back up. I need a d20 roll from somebody. Not Jory. Fuck's sake, Jory. Damn it, I said not Jory! <laughs> you were the one person who was not supposed to. Okay, what do we encounter? Nothing. It's a two. Oh, Strahd good. again. That's a good roll. <laughs> oh yeah, we can Strahd. <laughs> Once more. That's possible. Your T poses yeah. on you. Oh, I got you it. Die immediately. A five. Okay, five. Zawin 9 just subscribed. Big okay. fat fanny sack. <laughs> you make it back to the winery. I <laughs> hate you so much. Please, sir, might I have some more? Do you need so, to roll, I'll roll another one? No, I need y'all to roleplay because you're at the winery. Oh, okay. And we have the gem! Who actually picked up the gem? Uh, I think it was me, because I flew up to grab it. Well, there you go. Talk to him. Yeah, I said, I did talk to him. I said, we are back with the gem. Ah, oh, well, that should, uh, that should help us a little bit with some of our... With some of the land, at least. Though we're still missing two. Say that this was the only one there. That is a bit of a problem. I'll have some people take a look. See if we can't find anything. In the meantime, I'll take the gem. I hand it to him. He takes the gem. I, uh... I believe that you wished to take a shipment of wine somewhere. That is correct. Well, we've got it all loaded up, and the horses are ready. So, may whenever you plan to go, you may. Does anybody have anything to do before we go? Quick question. So, if I blast the consecrated as ground, would it help? I don't believe so. Also, you don't have consecration. I know, I'm just trying to hide. Dad, your mic. What's wrong with my mic now? It's very staticky. It sounds like you're talking through a toaster. You'd be like that. Any better? No. Nope. Make sure your cords are fully plugged in. They are plugged in. Oh, that's, that's better. better. I think I have a kink in my cord. That's what she said. So if she, she, she has a, a dog, wait, wait, hold on. What's what she said? 
Does it make sense? Yeah, that's not like you see a doctor if there's a case report. Are you seeing the agenda? Alright. I'm Gen X, of course I'm assuming a gender. <laughs> I'm so, always assuming genders. Alright guys. Have, you have a wagon being pulled by two draft horses. It belongs to the winery. And a donkey. Uh, and it has three casks of wine. You have a number of locations you can bring it to. You can take it up to Krezik. You can take it back to Valaki. And there is also a little camp down by Velaki that you could bring it to, which is a Vistani camp. Well, we, we did we, promise to bring it back, yeah, back to Velaki, so we should go there first and make good on that promise. I bet Velaki. You want to take it back up to Velaki? Most Wait, definitely. Where's the, where's the camp at really quickly? It's, it's next to Velaki. Okay. Well, I guess we go to Vlaki then. Okay. You make your way up to Vlaki. D20. I go up. Okay. Two. So, heading up to Velaki, not going up to Krezik. Get another roll, please. Okay, sixteen. That's awful. Yeah, this is the exact. Uh, which direction do y'all want to go? Follow the main road. East. Yeah, follow the main road. Well, there's, the there's two road. roads that go eastward. Oh. The way we came. Southeast. The way we know. To Lake Bro Brerick. We went up to- we went by Lake Park first time, didn't we? No. No? Oh, main road. Yeah. We can stop that. I was just writing a direction map. Why did we go backwards so many times to your direction map? No, no, no. You don't- you don't get the point of the direction map. Hold on, let me show you again. No, stop. Okay. You know you're not supposed to do that. D20. D20. Who's rolling it? Or should I? Okay, 12. It's my turn next to roll a d20, so I'll do it next. Well, then roll it. Okay. Man, you guys are rolling weird. And with that, you make it back to the town of Valaki. Where is my Velaki map? I'm not gonna lie, but I love this ambience music. Okay, everybody is back in Velaki. I'll just get rid of that for now. Uh, you arrive back at town. 
uh, back at town. Uh, you make it through the gate without any issue, uh, and then you take the cart up to the uh, to the inn. She's gone dead quiet. Well, I'm waiting on you guys. You're at the inn. It's like you don't know what the, what to do when I tell you things like that. Um, we have brought the wine. I wasn't huh? there. For, wait, who was there for the conversation with the like? I didn't go to the inn. I was. When there. That happened. Okay. I was. There. I mean, I just said so. I don't think it was Arivas. Yeah, we had to go find you, so no, you weren't there. Yeah, me and you were both at the toy person's place. My, my good no, sir, we have brought... At that point, because I was there. No, I was, the I was at the church. Was there. Oh. Yeah, we were, it was a church at the time, because you and I went to the toy place. Okay, anyways, that. whoever good, was the sir, person that went in, go in. My good sir, we've been able to uh, procure you a shipment of wine, and we would like to know the winery is now open for business. So shipment should be coming regularly. Ah, that is a good thing to know. Thank you. You're quite welcome. Well, I believe that for as long as you are here in Valaki, you are welcome. You have done us a service, and so I feel that it would be at the best to simply provide you with Room and board, free of charge. If ever you need somewhere to rest safely, you can come here. That is very great. And, uh... Uh, a couple of the uh, workers head out and start collecting the barrels. We did so a good it's... deed today. That's a good deed for the month. So, the burn down as elf niche. What is your plans now? To rest. I say we take a, a rest a and... Long rest. <laughs> What's the other town we could head up to? Kresik? Uh -huh. town that I recommended of? What was the town called? It's a place that I wrote down. Give me a sec. Was it also the other option before we went to the brewery? Yeah, I think yeah, it was Kresik. called Kresik. Yeah, I say good. we probably take a nice long rest at the inn, and we head to Kresik. That sounds like a good idea. We, if we had the oracles to believe, no, we could go. Have, we could have an ally for us there. We we could go back to the winery and take a delivery of wine to Kresik. I mean, exactly. There isn't going to be enough to. Remember how they said there's only enough for one delivery? Yes, but they will have to travel back to the to the brewery, so they could likely drop us off closer to it. I mean, no, there's not enough wine. There, there, there's no point yeah, they going there because there. they don't have the wine. I say this: we, we are. They have to, I mean, we can just jump off before they get to the brewery because that's closer I, to the I, location. I, I, I say we take this route. Oh, wait. That's a good point. How have... Because we came back over with a cart, didn't we? Yeah. So they need to drive the we, cart back. We need to take the cart back, don't we? So yes. we drove us here. We might as well go to a brewery, return the cart, and then go back up to Kresak, then. Yeah. So we can we can stop at that lake brought first, just to Why? see what the hell's there. 
Okay. Yeah, sure. I mean, it's there. Yeah, might as well go see what it is. No reason not to. Okay, so in the morning, your plan is to take the car, uh, travel down road, take the northern path, stop at Lake Baratok, and then back out to the winery to yeah. return the cart. Yep. And then up to Kur all right, and then up to Kresik. Yeah. Okay. I just say that Kresik sounds like a uh, Russian town. Well, everything here is Eastern European. Oh. It's Transylvania it, and stuff like that? East Europe. It, it's like, um... Oh, yeah. Ro it's Romania. <laughs> he just clocked onto some of the names. Well, yeah, because it, it would sound Russian because they're from Russian descent. Yeah, no, I, I, I get it. <laughs> it took, yeah. took you a while to realize that the vampire campaign Look, is Eastern European stuff. Yeah. You know, the place where vampires originated from. L listen, listen, I'm fucking dumb. Yeah, you are. That, that's, why right, we, that's why we have gypsies. We keep going to gypsy tribes and stuff. <clears throat> anyway. Are we going to start rolling, I guess? Or... Alright, uh, yeah. Anything you want to do in Velanki before you leave? Oh, right, I want to go buy some uh, bandages. Yeah, I'd like to stock up on some stuff too. Okay. Oh wait, I don't um... think I have any money. I'm going to go through the, uh, go back to the church. Uh... No, I, I, I spent it on a shield originally, I think. But, yeah, no, I have no money. <laughs> Never mind, I'm not doing anything. Does anybody have stuff to sell? Oh wait, I could sell my old um uh, Hey Glitch Spear. You you don't, don't have any stuff. money? I I'll, I'll I'll sell my old rapier that was easy. Yeah, I also don't have any money. Uh I give I oh, one second, I wanna uh, give me a second to see how much electrum I have left. Not a lot. <laughs> well I didn't spend any, uh, really. Yeah you did. Well, yeah. You got your rapier silvered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have twelve. Come I have out. eleven electrum left. I'll give you guys both two. Come back three bandages. Uh, you could yes. How much cost you thirty gold? I think it is. How much would my uh, rapier cost? That's fine. Just out. All right. Yeah, you're you're rich, aren't you, Burbeard? Uh, rapier yeah. would sell for half of the value it has. Okay, I'm the normal stores. Uh, there you go. You guys have both four electrum. 25, so 12. I wouldn't say I'm rich. Liam, I have six <laughs> Liam, gold. Liam, you have over 700 gold. You're the richest character in the party. What? Yeah, I'm sorry, Don't what? say that. They'll steal it. It's because, uh, oh, he, remember he, like, in the very first area, he found a pendant that was super expensive, and uh, then he sold it for full price. I got the jewelry box, so I have 20 silver. That's I have was in the jewelry box. I have yeah, 270 yeah. electron pieces. No, oh, that's a, that's I also have, a lot. Um, yeah, I all, like, I we have all have money. I have five electron pieces and six gold pieces. I, I'm gonna buy a single bandage. Okay. Uh, and I'm back out of money. I think, I think Liam also has a spare silver weapon, doesn't he? I do, a silver sword. Yeah. Anyone want a silver sword? No. I've got one. Wait, what kind of sword? Short sword. Uh, I'll take that because I can use I can use dexterity with it. Okay, it's just a normal short sword that's uh, silver now. Yeah, I'm using a rapier, so. I wonder how much can I get for an eight-inch demon? Uh, the fuck does this say? Wow, eight. Uh, this. Oh, that would be 
That's the Nothic Eye, which acts as an arcane focus. I don't know if arcane focus has a price. They do. It depends on what kind of arcane focus it is. And I'm guessing that would be an orb, which It is... would be an orb. 20 gold, so sell for half, 10. Hmm. Could buy another bandage with that. I could. Or keep it because it's a it's a cool flavor item. Yeah, I'll keep it. Tasty flavor. Oh, an iron pendant with an uh, end of the devil's face on it. Uh, probably like a couple silver. It's just just an iron pendant. Uh, okay. About uh, eight silver forks. Uh. Or should I just plan I, on stabbing, I'll say, uh... We'll say, if you're selling the silverware, you'll sell it for a, a, a silver apiece. Eh, I'll keep the silverware for now. Just in case. You never know when you need to stab somebody with 75 forks. Improvised throwing weapons? Alright, so while they're doing that, I'm gonna take a run down to the, um, back down to the church. Okay. And talk to the uh, cleric there. Yep. My what about? Oh. I want to know if there's if he has anything, any information of the land around. Um, maybe some provisions that we could use, potions, bandages, anything that uh, would be able to help us, to help them. Uh, he doesn't have any provisions that he can spare, but he does have uh, a little bit of info that he can provide you. Um, uh, he will let you know that... Uh, let's, far in the south, in the, in the far southern sections of Barovia, Atop Mount Gacchus, which is way down here, uh, he says that uh, there is an old ruined temple that he believes uh, that, that like a number of folk have come through Vallaki on treks down that way, as they believe it to be a source of some kind of power. Uh, be it magical or divine, nobody, they're not really quite sure. They just believe that there's something there that they could use. Like some kind of powerful magics. I explain to him the, I'll explain to him the ritual that we came across and stopped. Uh, he hasn't heard of a ritual like that before, but he isn't particularly shocked by it, because the druids around here are not your typical druids. Would you be willing to keep an ear out for maybe druids that are using some gems? We're looking for two more. We have found one. Of course, I'll try and keep an eye out. Can't promise much, as I don't typically leave Velaki. That's fine. Just maybe if you hear something with somebody else passing through. But I, I appreciate all the information. I'd like to make a donation of seventy electric pieces to your church. How much did you say? Seventy. <laughs> okay. Again, thank you for your time, good sir. All right, you give him 70 Electrum pieces. It's what a cleric would do. Depends on the cleric. I'm lawful good. It's definitely what I would do. He's a, he has a poor church. The money would go a long way to helping his people. It's also good for information. There's that too. Okay. 
Okay. So, uh, you all do the things that you're doing? Anything else? Any I'm purchases good, yeah. besides that? Uh, anybody doing anything else? I'm all stocked up. I can't really get anything anyway. Okay. You all uh, gather your things and pop up on the wagon and... Uh, Now that the wagon is empty of the wine, you should be able to use it to travel. Uh, let's see here. All right. Uh, are you going to be traveling at a normal pace, a fast pace, or a slow pace? Just normal. Right? Yeah, I'm familiar with territory. Normal. Okay. I've gone this path like three times now, but... No, yeah, but we're going the other way. way. Yeah. Oh, okay. Can I get a d20 roll? On it. Okay then. Alright. That's a couple of rolls actually. Great. I won't need the other roll. <laughs> Why did you roll? Oh, I thought you were- never mind, sorry. You make your way to Lake Baratok. Lake Baratok? Baratok. Lake Baratok. I wonder if we're going to see a lady holding up a sword in the water. What? Sorry, I forgot to laugh. He's, he made the Excalibur joke. We're not in Britain. You come to a cold mountain lake enclosed by misty woods and rocky bluffs. Thick fog creeps across the dark still waters. The trail ends at a grass-covered causeway that stretches a hundred yards across the lake to a flat marshy island with a stone tower on it. The tower is old and decrepit with collapsing scaffolds clinging to one side where a large gash has split the wall. Time-worn yeah. griffin statues, their wings and flanks covered with moss, perch atop buttresses that support the walls. Parked near the base of the tower, within sight of the entrance, is a barrel-topped wagon spattered with mud. One was in the wagon. Should we, should we do something there, or? I say we check out the wagon. Which one of us is going to go over there and check it? Whoever's uh, best stealthy. I might but ironically be me. It'd be me or you? Yourself. I'm the rogue. What's your stealth? Nine? Seven. Go ahead. Yeah, my stealth six. Negative one. Pretty sure you're also at disadvantage, Liam, or you're wearing heavy armor, aren't you? Oh wait, that's not the... You guys Besides have stealth? Can I open up the wagon, the inside of it? Uh, you just go right up and open the wagon? Well, or just knock on it. 
Under layers of mud, this wagon sports a fresh coat of purple paint, and its wheels have fancy gold trim. A brass lantern hangs from each corner, and red drapes cover a tombstone-shaped window on each side. A steel padlock secures the back door, hanging from which is a cheap wooden sign that reads, Keep Out. Oh, well then I can't open it anyway. Why? Because it's locked. I'm not opening it if it says keep out. Bruh. Uh, I slightly open up this door. No, you don't. Oh, okay, never mind. The tower door is made of iron with no visible handles or hinges. In the middle of the door is a large embossed symbol. A connected series of lines with eight stick figures around it. Carved into the lintel above the door is a word. Kazam. Kazam? Destroyed by lightning. Call it Kazam? Is that like a person? Can Don't I roll a arm. history check? To determine? Yeah. Well, what do you want to determine? If I've ever... if I know what that word means. Sure. Uh, you've never heard the word before. Alright. Well, then I'll go back to my compatriots and say... Yo, there's no way in the tower. Okay, we sent you to check out the carriage. The the carriage has a padlock on it. And a thing and that says keep there's only, out. There's only one thing to do with a padlock. I'm gonna break it. Maybe the, um... Even the cleric will be... Uh, sorcerer, so to go up and check the door. That might be something they can deal with. Um, I'm trying to see if I have anything that can help here. Good. Should I, I don't think players get knocked, so. Cast detect magic, and we see if there's magic coming from it. Guys? If you want to. This kind of take group I, I, I say we come back here later. I say we find out what's in the carriage. I'm going to walk over to the carriage. Okay. There's a padlock on the door, right? Yes. How sturdy does it look? Also, that's the front of the carriage. So it's supposed to be at the back, actually. I'm going oh, sorry. To, um, go uh, how sturdy does the uh, how sturdy does it look? Uh, it looks like a padlock. Okay, I would like to. Is there any rocks in the ground? I yeah, there's a rock or two. You I like to pick up the biggest one. I would like to pick up one of the uh, bigger ones and smash the padlock with it. Uh, give me a second. Padlock would be in adventuring gear. Uh, sure, roll a strength check. Oops, sorry. I roll that again. Uh, it's... Yeah, roll again. Not at advantage. 12. Uh, you don't do much aside from dent the exterior of the lock. I do so again. Oh my. But this time it's not a rock. Is my, do, I see my, do I see him doing this? He's right next to you. Okay, I just, I just kind of move him aside and just pick what, try to pick the lock. 
door? Do you have these what tools? You, have you checked for a trap? Uh, wow, I have proficiency in thieves tools. You like don't own thieves tools. That's the thing. <laughs> Nice. Then looks like I'm back in business. I would like to hit it with a glaive. Oh my uh, god. Just make a make a raw dex check. Okay. To try and pick it. Uh, or Jory can roll a thieves tools. Uh yeah. Uh the thirteen isn't enough, but that fifteen roll a dex. Uh you manage to get like I just pluck out one of my feathers and start picking it with a feather. <laughs> Sure, yeah. You uh you, you do manage to get in and you hear a click and then it unlocks. I think it's more amazing that I managed to out roll the um <laughs> I managed to get a higher roll than the person who has a higher modifier. It happens. I know, but I'm gonna like, double my modifier. Okay. Well, who has the most armor here? Me or Probably you? me. <laughs> then you go first. Do you then? I've got 19. I've got 20. Oh, so it's both of us. What? Mine's higher. No, I said it's both of us that have the highest. But mine's... what? No, that's not how numbers work, Jory. Also, I'm pretty sure Liam has higher AC than you, Jory. Wait, what's your AC, eight. Liam? I only Should have 18. Be... He, really? No. I was higher. No. No, he right. He doesn't use a shield. My my natural armor brings it up to 18, 18 and uh, a shield gives me two extra. Your natural armor brings you up to seventeen. Seventeen. Sorry. Yeah. My unarmored defense Three gets me to eighteen, and then my. No, no. no what I are you doing? Two more. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. I'm, so, I'm yeah, gonna... he's right. Okay. Okay. Enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna look inside. You open the door. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you open the door, and uh, as you finish opening the door all the way, uh, you only have about a, a second to take in what you see. As you see, the wagon is full of alchemist fire flasks. And right in front of you, you see a flask falling from oh. the ceiling. Can I try to run and catch it? No. Everybody within 30 feet of the wagon, so that's everybody, needs to make a constitution saving throw oh, as dear. the wagon explodes. I'm going to uh, cast Absorb Elements as well. I'm guessing it's fire damage. You're going to roll a save first. I did. did, bro. Oh, wait, wrong thing. A constitution save, Jory. Yeah. William? What happened? Con constitution. Ah, oh, damn it. He exploded. You're not paying attention? The wagon exploded. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> You're also within 30 feet. I need, this con I need a con save. You rolled. No. I said Nate. Nate's. Oh. Your dad, Nathan. The smart one who stayed back and said, "Turn one person up." You still got hit. You're within thirty feet. The smart one that also got hurt by it, because even if the only person won't get up, we will also end hit. Who's that? What do I need to do? Constitution save. Uh, that shouldn't be an advantage because it's not a. Concentration, but 17. All right. Everybody except Jory takes half of that. So 25 fire damage to everybody else. Jory, you take the full 50 fire damage as the wagon explodes. And I'm going to cast Absorb Elements, so I half that damage. Okay, so you take 12. Yeah. So I'm um, pretty sure Jory is unconscious. Um, how's the building looking? Uh, the tower appears unaffected. Hmm. Maybe I have the knock spell. Is the wagon completely destroyed? 
Yes. Nice. Wait, didn't you say there was a Gashin beside the tower? There is. Can we go... There's also a lot of scaffolding that you can clearly see on the map. Can, can we... I'm can I climb, can up, I climb the up the scaffold? Oh, okay. There's a, there looks like there's a way to, to actually go up Well, around. considering Dog was the one who wanted to climb up the scaffolding, I'll give it to him. Alright. Oh, since you since, since he was asking that, and then you'd step right on his toes. <laughs> how, are you, how are you gonna try and kill me here? Uh, I'd like to climb up the ladder. Okay. Uh, climbing up the ladder. Uh, rotting wooden beams to support the scaffolding, which groans and creaks with the slight breeze. With the slightest breeze, a series of ladders and platforms lead to a hole in the northwestern wall on the third floor. How heavy are you currently? Um, I'm a, I'm a bugbear. Uh, about two hundred and sixty. Plus a bit more, maybe 270 total. You're not Possibly. confident that this can carry you. <laughs> not with your weight. <laughs> but yeah, I had that feeling. I probably shouldn't go up there then, should I? Probably not, if you don't think it can handle you. Also, is anybody gonna, like, do something about Jory, who's unconscious currently? Nah, he's fine. Sure, Jory, I'll... I need a death save. I'll, I'll pass good Barry and just feed him a few of them. Screw that, I was just gonna cast Spare the Dying on him. He could use a rest. Okay. Okay. Jory is stable, but unconscious. Can one of you, you fly, um, right? One of you lighter folks to go up the side of the building. I'll fly up there and not actually land on it. To see what Keegan can, there. like, carry somebody up, too. Why on earth would I do that? As soon as I put them onto it, the staff was gonna burst. Or you could just put I'm them straight into the building. So I don't need to that's, land. that's what I'm saying, you could fly them okay. into the crack. I'm pretty sure he can't. I doubt he can carry any of you. My strength net modifier is zero, so no, I could not carry any of you. Yeah. Alright, well, you're gonna fly up into the crack? Um, where's yep. the gnome where you need him? Oh, the, the crack is up at the third floor up here. Uh, up here. Uh, do I see anything in here? Time and the elements have all but destroyed this chamber, leaving a gash in the northwest wall and slimy black mildew on the walls. The wooden floor is completely rotted and has begun to fall away in places. So it looks like it, this place is extremely unstable. It looks like what I just read to you. Uh, I'm guessing that that's a hole, then? It appears to be, yes. Uh, with four chains going down. Uh, I'm going to look down the hole to see if there's anything down there. Uh, you look down the hole, uh, revealing the floor below. Okay, I'm gonna fly down there. Okay. You can pull your token down there. Oh, sorry, I, I, I was on the other focus thing. Dust and cobwebs fill this otherwise empty room, the wooden floor of which is badly rotted and partially collapsed. Okay. Are you landing on the floor in each of these rooms, by the way? No, I'm making sure I don't, because it doesn't look like it's stable to begin with. Okay. And I guess I'll fly onto the last one and see what's in that one. Alright, you fly down further, going down yep. to the bottom floor. 
it looks like there's a lot of shattered stuff here. The flagstone floor is strewn with debris, and a few old crates stand near the east wall. A torn curtain to the south partially obscures the tower vestibule. A five-foot square indentation in the center of the floor contains four pulleys attached to taut iron chains that stretch up through a similarly sized hole in the rotted wooden ceiling. Standing next to the chains are four tall clay statues. What direction are the statues facing? Uh, they're all facing inward, towards the center there. Towards a chain. Do they look like they were able to be turned or anything? Nope. Hmm. Alright. Uh, I'm going to check the crates to see if there's anything in them. Also prepare the fire in case it's a vampire. I have opened the door first. Actually, yeah, right. Is there a way to open the door before I open those crates that most likely have something in them? Uh... What? Ask again, is there, please. Is there a way to open the door? You could try. Okay, I'm gonna try to open the door. Uh, do you want me to make some kind of check, or is it just like... Investigation. Mm -hmm. You push on the inside side of the door. Well, I don't know why you're standing there. You push on the inside of the door and uh, it doesn't open. I'm going to roll investigation to see if there's anything on this side that could open it. You don't find anything. Yeah. I guess I'll try to open the crate. One of these crates. Okay. You open one of those crates. Is there anything in it? There is, uh, like, no, nah, they're, they're just empty crates. Okay. Uh, if I look up, is there, like, a floor that I haven't gone to yet or anything? Uh, well, there is, like, you think there might be, but you can't get up to it from where you are. There's something like blocking the top door, the top floor, where those chains are. Hmm. Uh, I guess I'll fly back through the top of it to fly out, and I try and fly to the top floor. You said there was like blocking it. I meant from the outside. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll try to fly. It to might the top be like a roof oh, there. I'll fly outside the building and fly up to the top to see if there's anything up there. Okay, give me a second. You good? Ooh, I was not supposed to reveal the inside, goddammit. Don't worry, I wasn't looking up there anyway. It's supposed to reveal the outside for some fucking reason. It didn't. Uh, polygon. Uh, pain in the ass doing this. What's the rest of the party doing? While he's kind of just watching. Well, I'm unconscious. Is there anyone? Right, I mean, who who's lighter than me? In the party. I don't think anyone is other than now um, Colton. Maybe. Either way, I think I might be the lightest one in the party. Yeah, that's because you can fly. Even then, I only weigh 140. <laughs> that is quite light. Um. 
Brute Force. You guys want to try that? The door looks like it's made of metal. I thought it was stone. Oh, so it looks like the um the sides aren't, so you could probably you might be able to break the um the inside hinges. We can use like Jory as a battering ram. We can use Jory's unconscious body as a battering ram. He's a shell. Or we just come back to this place later. Never. We could do that, but we could also not do that. So, uh, which one of us should uh, go and hit the door first? Uh, okay. Actually, can I check a, um, do a history check for the writing on there? Just on the off chance that I might know it. Sure, roll the history. Ah, uh, last I'm stupid. You have no idea. It's just some weird word. I'll give it a shot. Maybe one of you guys should try and uh, I'll kind of check on that. When Jory tried it, he got a nat 20 and still didn't know it. What about the symbol below it? Like, stick man. Oh, thing. You can see what it looks like. Oh, sorry. I forgot what was that. Oh. Fuck. If it's written oh. in common, draconic, or elvish, I can read it. Maybe you have to follow the pattern on the door. In terms of, um... Can I attempt to basically stand in front of the door and copy the shapes? As if, like... Kind of like, uh, you know... Morse code, or...? Sure. Uh, in, in like the... Like Yeah, yeah, yeah. In, like, the order of the, um... Of the line as it connects both ways. Can I move away just in case? The other thing it might have something to do with like a um copying the actions in the order that it shows. Sure. Can you describe how you do it? Uh, how, what, in, in what way? Describe what your character does. Um... Start, starting from the, um... Top left, and following the uh, line through, he will copy the actions and attempt to open the door. He's done. Standing on, on like the doorstep, so within pushing distance of the door. Hmm? I, I... <laughs> no, repeat yourself, I didn't hear you. Oh, sorry, um, so starting from the top left, uh, okay. follow the actions as the line goes across. Like, as if it's pointing to each one. And then pushing and attempting to push the door. Well, if, if your character is imitating it, describe what your character does with their body to imitate it. Describe the poses uh, that you do. I don't, fucking, I don't know what these poses are, to be honest. A T pose? What does it look like the stick figures are doing? Uh, yeah, arm, the stick figures. Arms up, uh, the left arm down. Uh, spread out like a uh, arm spread to the sides, arms okay. down, arms up, uh, right arm down, left one up, uh, arms out straight again, and arms down. Okay, you do in that sequence, and uh, the door opens. Fucking smart for once, let's go. <laughs> I did a puzzle, are you proud of me? You did it. Ah!
It's, it's not a repeat of that coin puzzle. Sh should we take so. a should we take a short rest before going in there? Because no. our party members is kind of down. No. That's and we're all low on health. Um, rest of the cowards. I'm just gonna put up here so show that I'm up here. Uh, there ain't no rest for the wicked. Is this a window? Yes, it is. Am I able to see through it? Uh, good question. Okay. When a campaign's not really designed Yes, you can flight. see through the window. Okay. Uh, Does it look like there's anything in there? Give me a second. Okay, I'm going to check through this one as well, so I can get a better view of the entire room. Basically, I'm just going to fly through and look through each of the windows so I can see the full room. That one. Wait, no, that wouldn't make it so I can see the corner, so... You know, how big are the windows? Break the windows. Uh, not not very large. <laughs> you, be able to fit you, them? you could probably squeeze through one if it was open. Underclap. Uh, would I be able to smash out the window? Uh. I guess. Sure. I'm gonna smash out the window then. I'm trying to clean up the edges so I don't cut myself entering. Okay. You smash the window. Sneak 100. <laughs> Stealth. <laughs> Unlike the levels below, this room shows signs of recent habitation. And although this place reeks of mold and mildew, it has plenty of creature comforts, including a, including a cozy bed, a desk with a matching chair, bright tapestries, and a large iron stove with plenty of wood to feed it. Light enters through arrow slits as well as through dirt caked windows with broken shutters. Other features of the room include a standing suit of armor and a wooden chest. Old wooden rafters bend under the weight of the tower roof, which has somehow remained intact. Mounted to the rafters are pulleys, around which hang iron chains that supports the tower's elevator platform. Hmm. Am I able to like, lower the platform from up here? Uh, you are not able to. You don't, well, I mean, how would you? I mean, it, assuming that there would be a way for the person who would ever live up here to get down. Well, if there is a way, you haven't found it yet. Okay, fair. Uh, I'm... Is, is there a chest here, or is that just, um, art? There is a chest there. Okay, then I'm going to go and open the chest. Okay, what's everyone else doing? Down on the bottom. Uh, I would like to go in. Then go in. Can I check these crates, please? They're empty. All of them? All of them. Okay. Uh, can I attempt to pull one of these chains? Sure. Is it a strength? Yep. Yep. One second. I wonder if it'll kill your character. <laughs> oh fuck out, Leo. Uh, you you <laughs> pull on the chain. You you pull on the chain and nothing happens. What if I try and lift it? I push it up. Uh, same thing. Nothing happens. Okay. There's four chains, correct? Correct. So it's gonna take four people. 
out of curiosity, um, the play figures. Uh, Jory, you're going to be unconscious for two full hours if nobody wakes you. Okay. Yeah, right, damn it, I'll wake him. Are the clay figures holding the chains, by the way? Uh, no, they don't appear to be. They're just what standing. What happens there. if I give them? Uh, to I would like to use five of my lay on hands on him. No. Oh. Well, apparently, Nate used cure wounds on him. Oh, never fucking mind. What was that? Doug? Can, can I uh, put the cha like chains into that? Like, are they? Do they have outreach hands? No. No. Well, they're um. They're just standing there. Are they just standing hands to their sides? Yeah. Can I try and like touch them with the chain or like wrap it around them? The like? chain is too taut to do anything like that. Okay. Never mind then. I guess that's pointless. Do we need to have uh... power loop the chains? I'm, I'm not sure. I wonder what would happen if we break the statue. I'm not going in there. I think you should get off the uh thing that looks like it's gonna it's going to fall. Do you, do you have a character trait that's just coward? No, I'm kind of on the ground. He's learned too much from uh from uh He hasn't his, gone into uh, anything. He just sits perfect. back unless he has to. You got ten hit points back, Tori. I know. But um, I've got ten hit points and it's a very falling apart building. I I'd like to punch the statue. I'd like to back up. Okay, you punch the statue. Uh, roll an attack with uh, strength modifier. I need D20 to plus your strength mod. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll just do it normally then. Um, it's an arm strike. Yeah, no, I don't actually have an arm strike set up. Yeah, D20 my... plus strength. Yep. Yep. Uh, you punch one of the little statue things. Give me a second while I do this. Backing up one more. A 21 is a hit. Also, Liam, you're not backing up. You're staying where he, you, where you were when he punched it. Oh God! Because he's triggered a fight. If if he goes down, I'm leaving. I forget what are um unarmed strikes damage. Are hmm? unarmed strikes one. just? Oh, is it just one? Okay. Yeah. Unless you have some <laughs> special thing that ups it, it's one. So this is how another one of those characters dies. Probably. That's how strong these guys are. I'm not helping. It's a bad sign when the DM says probably. Maybe you don't fuck off. That would be helpful. What did I do to fuck up this time? No, not you. I'm, I meant if Liam didn't fuck off. Like, if he doesn't run away in the fight, that would be nice. I could oh, very well I see him saying, do that. I thought you were saying I fucked up again. I was saying, what no, the fuck no, you stuff? haven't done anything. <laughs> Wait, it's hold on. Good. Why the fuck do we have all 19s? Good the rolls. What are these? Constructs, of course. Mini golems? I need more rolls. Everybody be, should be rolling this. Okay. Jory too. I am. Yeah, I don't Sorry, know April was talking there. to me. She just got home. All right. Uh, Nart, you punched one of the statues, and then they all go from their hands at the side positions to fully animated as they come to life. Nice. Not for you. <laughs> Maybe if I had, I mean, I, I reckon we can deal with this, depending on you have a party. You're down one person because I don't know what's happening up there. 
I'm down there. Yeah, but you're you. Uh, you're not one of the three tanks. I'm um, gonna say that that punch was your action. So you can do other things. Bonus but... action rage. Okay. Birdbeard. Um... I guess, uh, uh, I'm gonna test how, uh, lucky I am today. I'm going to go, uh, Glaive GWM. If you run away, uh, Liam, I won't forgive you. If you want, if I run away, you're dead. Uh, those are misses. Yeah, I can see that. I don't think a, uh, Golem's gonna have nine, uh, fucking, uh, armor class. Imagine. I don't think anything has nine armor class. I don't think an animated bush has that low of an armor class. Uh, anything else there, Birdbeard? Can uh, move or anything? Uh, no? Yeah, nah, no. Okay. I'll see what happens. Nate, Chrysania. Nate, move up to where Liam is. Somewhere in there. This strikes me as a great time to use Spirit Guardians. That's what I was already going to use! <laughs> great minds! <laughs> great minds. I think, my, I think my favorite ambience for this this session so far has been the town session, the like, tent town areas. I love the okay. ambience music from that. Uh, I'll say the music does kind of bang oh, with this. Yeah. Good job, Zona, Matt. Spirit Guardians reaches all of them. And they all fail. Taking 14 radiant damage. Anything else, Nate? That's literally all I can do. Okay, Jory, deal with bait. I end my turn. Okay. Zaryak, wow. what are you doing up there? Uh, Zaryak... Can I roll investigation to see if I can find any like, hidden things in the room? The one looking at chest that you were gonna look at? Oh, right, I forgot I didn't do that. Yeah, I'm gonna open the chest. Okay. Uh, you open up the chest? <coughs> Where is it here? <coughs> it's a mimic! <laughs> nope, it's not a mimic. Uh, you open the chest and find a severed human head. Hulk. Oh, well, that is disgusting. All right, clay golems. Well, someone's in danger. Again. Uh, let's see here. Yep. Hey, Nark, since you hit one of them, all four golems are going to attack you. Oh, great. Uh, first golem. I'll start writing my next character. <laughs> oh, damn! Fucking hell. Yep, they're clay golems, I was right. I need you to make a con save. Uh, your hit point maximum is reduced by 22. You got that? Yep. <laughs> I think we might want to run away. My hit supposed to be 48. Critical hit. Constitution save. Okay. Uh, 
you don't fail that, but you do take the damage. It's 28 damage. I just love how Dog is the paro of this fucking campaign. You down, Dog? Yep. Raging, remember? Okay. Alright, yeah, rage. Next two, next golem. There's 21. nothing like kicking the dog down when he's down. Is that a hit? Yep. Con save? Yep, one second. Okay, no reaction. Another one. Miss. Alright, that's two of them. Number three. Christ. This is just booming. Hits once for 14, so seven. And you save. And the last one. Uh, that should be eight damage. You save. And I'm about to go down. And I'm down. You are down. Did we you run? Save, so you're... That's a possibility, yeah? Should we run? I don't know what's happening up the, down there, so no, uh, so, um, nobody's able to tell me. I, I currently, if one of those guys hit me, like, I'm, I think I'm dead in one hit there, bud. Narc, death save. Uh, just to remind you, you have uh, ranged healing spells. That's one save. Liam. Uh, I'm conflicted. Uh, could I grab him? Grab Nark? I mean, you could. Hmm. Hey, Nark, do you want to live? Fuck it, leave me. Okay, I'm gonna grab the cleric. Don't leave I mean, the him. The cleric can move Not... herself. Yeah, just try to grab him. I, I could very well try to grab you. I have a lot of strength, Dad. Him, Liam. The difference between a cleric and a paladin is very, very much I'm so. I'm not a paladin, I'm a bard. Bob, sorry. So if you don't want to leave all, bro. Fuck this shit, I'm melt. Mm -mm. Uh, I didn't hear any of what he said. Alright, uh, that's my turn. I'm having internet problems, give me a second. Basically, he's running. We're leaving him and Keegan. Repeat, please, what you said, Liam. He's running. Hello? Anyone here? My Discord did connect. No, his Discord. No, okay. Discord's still here. Yeah, yours isn't the problem. Oh. Everything will quiet. It's his. Hello? Am I lagging or... Hello? Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, Am I, I still here? It's just, it's just Zoan's oh, okay. which was breaking. Oh, there you are, Ed. Yep, there we go. Everything's fixed. I couldn't hear anybody. What 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 happened? I mean, that was it's weird. Was no, fine. I'm talking to Liam. What did you do, Liam? I, I just moved. Just movement? I think I may uh, cast a spell, maybe? Do you know what? I mean, not just see what Nark... Uh, oh, yeah, I did get a snage. Yeah, never fucking mind. Okay. One more space. Crusania. Alright, did you get him? Did you get Dog out of there? Nope, he did not. No, he did not. What's the chance of me grabbing him and get him trying to get out? Same borrow if it might end up killing you. You're gonna struggle because I'm very happy. Oh, I should have. You're, you're better off just running, dude. I should have done four wisdom saves, but I did not on their turn, so I'll do them now. Roll the damage for them.
I didn't even get a ton. Oh, great. Sure you did. You punched one. I fucking hate you. Damn it. You could disengage and bonus action healing word. Yeah, I was wondering if I can get him out of there too, though. Yo, I just that rock just running. They both were about it. Yeah, I'll do what uh, someone just suggested. Okay. Disengage in the healing word. Knack your conscious with nine. Can you pull your token out of there, Nate? Okay, Dio. I'm done. Okay, you just move back. Don't do anything else. Zeriac. Okay. Uh, he's just going to close the chest and ignore the head that's sitting in the chest. He's going to go check out the desk. Okay. Uh, do you want me to roll like investigation to check through the desk or? Yes. Yep. 13. You find a scroll of Speak with Dead. Ooh. Ooh, I know I can use that. Is it possible for me to use Speak with Dead? I think that's like a requirement with these scrolls, isn't it? That I need to be able to cast it? You cannot cast it. You're a druid. Okay. Now I'm just gonna pocket it for now. Alright. Golems. What are they gonna do? Might as well. Do it. No, you want to. Sure. Yep, I'm You're unconscious. Big Lou just finished me off there, to be honest. At least we still have the wagon. Are they still attacking him? Maybe he got back up and then instantly went back down. Oh. At least I passed. Jesus. They really don't like him, do they? Uh, the other three are also gonna cast. I... I feel like we should all just heal him, just so that, uh... Just so that he, uh... Keeps getting put down. I'm getting knocked down. <laughs> Again. <laughs> again. I was just thinking that. No, we're not doing top bumping with dog. Is that would eventually kill me because I'm slowly draining my hit points for every time I fail the attack. Like... No, you'll just eventually be at one. No, it, no, it, no, it goes zero. to zero and you die. Nate. Uh, misses the. That wasn't why I was saying your name, but okay. They move back into my thing. I'm gonna hit that anyway, so. Uh. It's when they first enter the area or start their turn. So they won't trigger it if on moving in a second time. 
Ah, At this, from this point on, they have to start their turn in it to take the damage. Okay. Narc. Yeah. Oh. Death save. One pass. Yep. Liam. You're the sadness in his voice. Um. So he is all going to run away. Guess. I mean, if you could try. I can really well do so. I just need to leave the zone. Guys, the three of us, Jory, Dad, we leaving? Run, Forrest, run! Why is no one answering me? Let's go. Okay, we're going. But not you. It's not your turn. I was being dramatic. I like to lead his own. Alright, somebody's gonna have to take over Kersania. I have to get ready to go. Alright. I got it for you. Alright, thanks. See you next week. Yep. yep. Um. Actually, no, we're not playing next week. Dog's unavailable. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm afraid of a week after again, though. Yeah. I'd also like to cast a, uh, wait, no. I'm, for, I'm too far away. I was going to say, I would like to cast Healing Word on, uh, Knack again. Hey, uh. Well. Oh. Damn, do you want to shut the fuck up? <laughs> he's just trying to help. No, he's not. <laughs> we both know he's not. Oh yeah, definitely. I know that, but it's still funny to say that. Snake gone, or is he? Has he actually left? Probably. Knowing him, you just didn't turn off Discord. Yeah, I usually kick no, him out. No, I'm. He's done. Wait, I'm here. Wait, Dad. Dad. Yeah. Um... Dad. Yeah, he's probably. Uh... Yeah, he, he probably. Uh... He's probably just left Discord on. That's kind of annoying. I'll just go. Uh... Oh, 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 there he goes. I got it. Oh, okay. Alright, then Crisania is going to uh, take a disengage action. And also cast a healing word. But here she does on Narc. Oh, cool. Why would you just die? Dio. Um, I'm gonna disengage, but at first, uh, can I yell up to? Can I can I yell loud enough that he could hear me from up there? Uh, probably. What's your per passive perception, uh, Keegan? Uh, my passive perception is sixteen. Yeah, uh, I'll say that he could probably hear you yelling. Yo, Birdman, we are retreating. And move your character in Zeriac. Uh, upon hearing that, before he goes, he's going to check out the suit. Wait, what is this? What is what? Uh, it's like at. a little end table or something. Oh, uh, is there anything on it? Nope. Okay. Uh, what kind of armor is this? Looks to be plate. Uh, how heavy is plate mail? Heavy. 65 pounds? And it's on a stand. Uh, how would it, would it be an action to take the armor, even if I'm not wearing it? Yes, because it's on a stand. Okay, then I'll take I'll take that. I'll try to take that. I'll throw it okay. out the window. <laughs> you, uh, you use okay. your action to take the armor off the stand. I'm gonna try to take it and take it over to um, this window. All right, not just out the window that you came from. No, can I get chuck it onto the? I'm gonna check it onto the golems that are coming outside the door. Why? Try to stop them from going after the party. Because I'm hearing that somebody were retreating, so there's likely something following them. 
Okay. We're just gonna huck a plate armor out the window. Sure. Either way, it would be kind of difficult to fly wearing it, because I can't fly with plate armor. You don't wear it, you just t you can't wear it. Yeah, that too. Okay, okay so you, you just that. throw the armor? Or are you taking no, it? No, I'll just take it. Okay. Now fly back up the window I came from. Okay. Uh, golems. Okay, uh, Narek. Let's see if this downs you. 17? No? 17! Missing no. again! So you gotta use your token markers. Narek! Uh, I'll get up, so that's half movement, isn't it? Yep. Um... Disengage. That's as far as I can get. Okay. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Beard. Liam. Uh, you fled, didn't you? Yeah, I left the zone. Okay. Grisanius. I'm going still miles here. away. So, uh. Cassania will uh, drop her concentration on guardians. Use a bonus action to cast Shield of Faith on Narc, who still hasn't turned off his token marker. I'm oh, sorry. And then she's going to retreat with the rest. Dio, you retreated, yeah? Yeah. Zariac. Okay. I'm going to start flying downward. Getting to around there. Am I able to see them down there? Yeah. Um, how far away is he? Uh, 40 feet. Uh, okay. Then... Crap, I'm trying to think. What's the way range on... Ah, yes. I'm going to activate... Oh, wait, no. Wait, is that an action activate? Is that a bonus action activate? My story form. It's a bonus action, okay. It's yeah. a bonus yeah. action. Yeah, let's check. Um, then I'm going. I'm going to cast a uh, healing word on him. Okay. At the second level. Okay. Well, that's not. There you go. I that's know, eight not... health for Mark, who didn't use okay. his rage as a bonus act on this turn. Oof. Didn't think of that, did you, dog? I did. I just didn't want to. Okay. Uh, anything else? Uh, that was my act. That was my bonus action. I don't really think I can do much else because, like, even if I shoot them, it's not like he's gonna do anything to them. You know, you can use your action to use your starry form. That's a bonus action. You can sacrifice your action to do bonus actions. Oh, I didn't know that. Then yeah, I used my starry form before I casted that, so he got the benefits of that. And chalice as well. There's another eight there, Nark. Okay. Okay. Golems. Nark, you have plus two to your AC from Shield of Faith. Yep.
Okay, three golems. One hit. That hits you. One? Yep. It's a miss with your AC buff. Yep. Also, do your constant. Uh, that's a reduce by 13. Uh, You're down. And I'm down. Why didn't you put rage up? It wouldn't have mattered. Hey. At least I saved. Even with um, rage on, those two wouldn't have saved me. Uh, yeah, sorry, let me do. Yep, pass. Make the save. Sorry, Ak. It's just you. Okay, I'm going to um, fly closer, making sure I stay out of their reach. At this point, I'd move 30 down, so I'd most likely be down closer to this area at this point. I am still in the air, so they can't hit me. I'm guessing I don't have any range. I'm going to cast Aura of Vitality. It's, since it's, heal it's healing, I'm, it's going to get Chalice used for the first time on yep. him. Nark is back up. How much so just, Run the you're just away. torturing him. Because he's just going to get an opportunity attack when he decides to leave and they're going to hit him. Unless they, they go after the healer. <laughs> well, the healer is 10 feet up, isn't he? Yeah, true. You're just torturing him at okay. this point. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Okay, go Lunds. He's conscious. Unfortunately, he's prone. Oh, wait, that means... Oh. That means a hit, and you're back down. <laughs> Damn it. I'm trying to think of a way I can get you out of this, dude. I don't want you to lose another character. Just go. Merrick. Let him die. Death save. Unless you get, unless you get an at 20. Make it a 20, come on, let's see it. Uh, ah. That's two. No, isn't it just one? Is it? Oh, attack. yeah, it's back I down to one because you back down grew up. Zariac? Just, just pummel my dead get body, him. fuck it. <laughs> just finish me off. Uh, I'm gonna try to get him out of this. Aura of Vitality, wake back up, fucker! <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Conscious going to again. Try uh, I'm going to shoot a, um, a guiding bolt at, at this one. Okay. Uh, 17 hits for 19 radiant. And I'm going to just quickly put on my aura. Of, I'm going to put on what the ranges of the coming around me so I can so I know where I'm at. So I can go. And I'm going to uh, fly over to here to make it split so he's still in my range and everything, but I'm less likely to get targeted. Okay. And I'm going to end my turn. So, Narc, Golem, mid. Punch, Hit, Down, Gun save, <laughs> Saved. <laughs> The plus seven was such a good idea because it's just prolonging this so much. Merrick! Oh! Is this where we're going? No. Okay. Okay, eventually you'll get a nat 20 and you'll be able to run the fuck away. Oh, hey, wait, hey, I, I thought we were still gonna attack me. Okay, never mind. What's your next character gonna be? Save! Um, the turtle gets plus two AC, doesn't it? Zariac. <laughs> <laughs> uh, turtles don't get a plus to AC unless they're hiding in their shell. What you Aww. would get is own natural armor. That's always what? constant. No, they they do get bonus to their armor. They get they get natural armor. Yeah. Uh, I was That's thinking nice. either going That's monk or um, barbarian. You could do a monk. That would be cool. We you, we could be the teenage bit <laughs> and ninja turtles. Monk we're just missing one just two more. Go for a uh, armor build. Seven again. more. And guiding bolt on the guy. You can be the turtle from, uh, from... If you're targeting oh. the one that you just shot, it's a disadvantage. 
Kung Fu Panda. Oh, right. I'm, I'll just roll again. Fifteen radiant damage. Okay. Golem. One of the misses. Finally a miss. <laughs> and it I'm going to check that one again. Can't so save. The plus two for the shield of faith. The plus two doesn't prevent him from taking a twenty-four. I don't know what his armor class is. Be twenty-two for <laughs> Twenty, dude. Mark, death save. <laughs> this is so it's fucking fail. <laughs> Sorry, Ak. Can I just say how ridiculous this is? <laughs> and I'm gonna shoot this one again. Uh, guiding bolt. Advantage now because of the other one. Yep. Worst case scenario, you're a good distraction. <laughs> Go alone. This is harassment. Hit. For 13, you're down. Gone Go save. Finally Fail. fell. You're down 13 more max. That's 26. Two more time zone, come on, finish me off. <laughs> Mark. Uh, death save. Death save. No, Two fail. Fail. <laughs> nope, that's one fail. <laughs> because he got you back up. Sorry, it, this is possibly the slowest death of any of my characters. <laughs> Mainly because I'm trying to make sure you don't die. I, I like how Zones just started putting the health on his death. Uh, I'm seeing if there's a way that I could help you more than just, you know, repeatedly reviving you. <laughs> the thing is, you're not helping okay, me by doing that, you're making me die slow. <laughs> Healing spell! Ah! You can't, no, healing spell! You can't, just let you, me die! You, you cast a healing spell, he wakes up, he gets punched in the jaw, he goes back unconscious. You, you know that ability barbarians have, um... Is it barbarians? When you almost well, die, you do anything else and there, you go to one health instead. Uh, Keegan? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to shoot this, I'm going to, I'm going to summon him, yeah. I'm going to, uh, shoot him again. I'm going to shoot him with, uh, produce flame though, so I can save. The spell slots. <laughs> okay. This just makes me think of that one, uh, one health, like not dying thing. Just getting really good rolls for no reason. All right, that hits. Five fire. How, how bloody this one looked like? I've just been hitting repeatedly. Uh, that one, it's bloody. Okay, and that's the end of my turn. <laughs> okay. I'm pretty. Maybe bloodied. you get it lucky one time, and none of them hit you. Yeah, why am I not doing? <laughs> that's not gonna happen. Realistically, that's not gonna happen. You never know. I wish I had a teleport spell right now. <laughs> uh, another one could easily just walk up. That's eight okay. total hits. Uh, Golem. Punch. Down. Down. Can't save. Paris. Death save. Oh, you yeah. punch them, they're just repeating the favor. How many rounds has it been? Hey. Have you not been counting your spell, Keegan? Like you're supposed at to? Point, at this point, I've lost track. Give me a sec. It's been three. Of... It's been three? Yeah. How, how many times good. have you used Aura? That'll tell you. Uh, yeah, that's what I was checking. But Jory said it was three. There are four rounds now. Okay. Back up. This is a one minute spell. This is so fucking ridiculous. This will be five. Yeah. When you when your next turn uses it. Yeah. There, Ak. Five. <sighs> and produce flame. Back up to nine. Oh, produce flame. Hits it. I'm give up. Golem starts its turn. I wonder if they'll just give up eventually. <laughs> Punch. Crit. Wait, how many hit points does he currently have maximum? 26. 
how many how many hit points does that take you down to? Like, uh, I mean, like no, twenty six. Well, I was asking because if, if that was the case, then I would have uh, insta killed you if it was lot high enough. I feel like if it's a crit, I should roll the con save at disadvantage just to speed this up. Mac, <laughs> Mac, death save. Go. Oh. The pass. Sorry, Ak. <laughs> this is six. Nine health. <laughs> Flame hits. Imagine if Narc survives it. Clay Golem. If Narc survives this, I'm not sure if he'll be happy he survived or mad that he survived. <laughs> oh, there's no way I should survive Punches this. Punches him. 18. There. Fun. <laughs> Save. Save. <laughs> Narc. <laughs> well, I get knocked down. And I get up again. Damn. <laughs> Ooh. That was a scary was one. Close. Either way, that good fail wouldn't matter because he'd just come back up anyway. Zeriac. Seven. Heals for four. <laughs> <laughs> this is taking and I'm so going long. to cast um Fierce Flame again. Okay. So when uh, my dad asked what happened in the last little bit of the campaign, should we just say it was basically just healing? <laughs> Golem goes berserk. Oh for fuck's sake. <laughs> At least this okay. should serve to finish me off. Uh. Golem attacks the nearest creature it can see. Which would be me. Which is gonna be the other Golem. <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> uh, give me a... Would be My a man good... somehow outlasts us enough that the Golems start killing each other, that's even better. <laughs> this is All right, it's going to attack shit. the Golem next to it. Hit. Hit. Do they need or... to roll the, the constitution save as well? No. Oh. They just die. Oh. Well, it doesn't kill them outright. What? I mean, like, they are they don't have maximum hit points. They're golems. They just die when they reach zero anyway. Oh. Wait, so is that one down? No. No, okay. So I they, don't, they, they, don't, they don't make the con save because their maximum hit points oh, don't matter. I see. Because Sorry. they're NPCs, I, I, they just die instantly. I they don't go into the saves. Oh god, that was horrible. Okay. And now Narc. Yes, Don. The what other one punches you and misses. And misses. Oh, they should be at advantage. They should be at advantage. That would be like the first attack. Of misses again. So... Uh, one of the golems misses hitting you completely. Uh, yep. Other golem. Uh, and I move this one here. And uh, it's going to attack you. Hits. No, it doesn't hit because you still got uh, the three rounds left on the armor. Oh, nice. So you're right. Isn't it one more to attack? Yep. I'm going to say that one is going to punch you once. Miss, and then it's going to retaliate against the other one that attacked it. Get the fuck out of there! Hitting for nine. <laughs> Rock 'em, sock 'em, robot. <laughs> That's what it looks like at this point. You're at this conscious. Point, at this point, I kind of don't want to run. <laughs> Get the fuck out of there! I feel like after all of this, I feel like I need to die. No! <laughs> Wait a second, if, if I disengage. If I did that, I'd still be attackable, wouldn't I, by this one? No, because you disengaged. Oh, okay. I, I, you can run down this way, I, you don't need to go that way. You could run the quickest way to uh, to the edge of the map. Nah! <laughs> We're risking it. Okay. Why? Well, you just got hit by two. Zariac. Oh my god. Why did he go and next to another one? Got any healing spells to get him as or... much as he can? Uh, so, guess um, what he forgot to do again? What? 
Well, what is oh, he? Fuck. Fuck. Barbarian. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, uh, that time it genuinely did slip my mind. <laughs> okay, I'm uh, going to use a uh, healing word, but since the healing I'm gonna cast the same level, but since the healing spell Chalice is gonna be active. Yep. Second level, mid, and then I'm going to use Chalice. It's twelve. Up to sixteen, there, dog. Okay, thank you. And with then with healing words, of, you said I can tra I can use um bonus can, action things as, right? You you can use your action to trigger bonus action effects. You cannot okay, do the so same with spells, so you can't use your action to cast a healing word as an action instead of a bonus action. No, I was gonna use aura of vitality. But okay. Okay, go for it. Oh, okay. Since it's technically just active. Yeah. So that's three more. Dog is up to 19. I'm almost at max health, maybe I should fight them after all. No! <laughs> Golem, Berserk. Hits the Golem next to it, twice. That one goes Berserk and it starts hitting the other one next to that one, that's gonna be even funnier. <laughs> nope. Uh, it's going to punch an arc. Missing Miss. both. Now one's going to move up and punch an arc. I forgot that wasn't there anymore. Yeah. And I'm back down. No, no, you still shield the faith up. 22. 22. Oh, wait, right. I think you're tired than that. <laughs> Can I stop How? saving? God damn it! <laughs> at, at this point, I just I don't think he should leave. Mark, I, th I, can just... I think this is a fitting place for him to die. It's been eight rounds. Zariac. This is nine. I'm gonna shoot that one with a uh, guiding bolt. Actually, no. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna. Make it so all four of them are in an area for fairy fire, so that way the berserk one's hitting with advantage on him. It's the teammates not okay. my teammate not next to them. Okay, so that's gonna hit all of them. Yep. Dex. Uh, all. Okay. Oh, wait, the last one succeeded. I have a fourteen DC. Okay. And bonus action. Wait, no, I already used Aura Italian on him this turn, didn't I? Wait, no, I didn't. Wait, now I'm confused. Yeah, I did. Wait, why? Yeah, you up your hit points by to seven. I already used it on you. It's right above Fairy Fire. Everything's gone quiet again. Did Discord fuck up again? No, I can still no. hear you. It's just okay. he's down and not doing it. Oh, my mistake. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Golem. Golem has advantage. Hits. Wait, why did it roll? That's not hitting you, dude. I save. It wasn't hitting you. Oh, sorry. That was the you one that was. You don't have on you. Like, I mean, you well, he dies. Really he's prone. Him. I thought yeah, the yeah, seven. I... Yeah, that's why. Oh, the other Sorry, I forgot. Attacking oh. dog. These three are under the effects of fairy fire. Now a dog is down. Can't save. I'm on fail. Fuck. Narc. Uh. Yeah, death save. Yep. Also, your armor both is gone. Cool. Zariac. Okay. I'm gonna cast um, healing word on him. So <laughs> just fucking leave. Chalice. Chalice <laughs> Go mass. away. And I'm going to. I I compare this to keeping someone alive on life support. So I'm helping you. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot that one with um. 
with uh, produce flame. Go for it. Fuck. Miss. And that's the end of my turn. Golems. Uh, it's one hit. And a miss. Interesting. That was kind of shitty. And Nark, who is prone. Hit. Con save. <laughs> Saves it, that a problem, of course. Death save. <laughs> Zariac. I'm trying to think of this like a beast shape or something I can use to get it out of here. Wait. Fun fact. Something... You can't what? opportunity attack a creature if something else moves it out of your range. Hey Zoan, oh. be quiet. Okay. Um then what would be strong enough that I could change into at the moment that could take him away? Zoan, you have upset me. Uh, Aren't you ten feet in the air? Sorry, what was that, is that one? I'm not talking to you. Oh. Uh, I'm trying to think of what beast I could change into at the moment that's um, half challenge rating that could uh, lift him and run away with him. Check the thing. That's, that's... Damn it. I... I... Got it. He is going. He, he's going to land over here. He's going to turn into a black bear. Okay. Uh, and he's going to take pick him up. That was twenty. And he's going to run that way for for the last of his feet to get out of his what's, turn. What's your maximum movement? Or what's 40 your movement feet speed? Black bear. Forty feet. Hmm? Black bear. Black yeah. Bears what was your? Foot. You've already moved 30. twenty feet. I moved thirty. I, I have thirty. Okay. You move 20 feet, and then you shift it into a black bear. You have 20 feet remaining. Yep, which is over here. And it's half when you're carrying, or when you're pulling someone. Oh, then here. Okay, you drag him 10 feet. I can't move his token, so he needs to move that. Oh, sorry. Okay, you dragged him 10. Golems. Is B shaping of an action or is it? It's an action, okay. Uh, the berserk golem hits one and kills it. Ooh, it should not have been a D six. Whoops. D two. All right, and then it moves up to that one. The other one. Moves 15. How much AC do you have there, bear? Uh, the eight armor class of a bear is 19. Okay, I don't know why I rolled initiative. I did not mean to click that. Punched you for 17 bludgeoning damage. And I have the bear's arm. I have the bear's hit points right now. Correct. Hmm. What's wild shape? Like, click the wild shape for me so I can see what it says. I assume the hit points and hit dice of the bear. Okay. Yeah. So and what kind of bear are you? Black bear. That's the one I can change into at the moment. Okay. Uh, black bears have 19 hit points. Yeah. Oh. This could be bad. Right, so you're down to two. And is it, uh, is it, it, is it, it has extra attack, attack, doesn't it? Hmm? It already attacked twice. Uh, it, it is Nark's turn. Twice. Uh, Nark, you're save, please. Saved. Zariac. Uh, okay. Would it be use my action to keep carrying him, or would that be... You're dragging him, not carrying. Okay. So I can still use my action to do that, or... If you want to. Okay. 
You use my act. If I use my action, then. Ugh. <laughs> this is a challenge. Okay. Because if I if I don't disengage, then I'm going to get hit. Yeah. So, do you take him, or do you risk it for the biscuit? And... Fuck it. Do you disengage, or...? Okay, risk it. risk it. Because either way, if I get hit, then I change back to my regular form. Yeah. Opportunity attack. Misses. Oh! <laughs> 30... Oh, half... So 15 feet away. Okay. You keep pulling him. You managed to escape. Okay. Narc. And... I need a death save. One fail. Okay, and now that we're away, I'm going to uh now that we're safe, I'm going to uh I'm going to use I'm gonna change back to my regular self and use cure wounds on him for my last first level spell slot. Does it take an action to change out? Uh is it an action? Let me show uh, I'm pretty sure it does. Uh, you can revert to your normal form earlier by using a bonus action. Okay. 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 So you can use a heal on him. Okay. Cure wounds on Narc. I saved him. He did not lose another character because of us. Us? He did it himself. Oh, yeah, actually, true. Hey, Keegan, I fucking so, wanted to die. He did not lose another team. character. <laughs> Okay. Okay, now that we are safe, <laughs> what the fuck happened? <laughs> that is the second time my character's uh, ever changed into something. Keegan, I'm scratching my head like, I don't really know. I kind of just woke up and everybody was running. You were unconscious when I was still around, I understand that. Where did those golems come from? Narc? Golems. Oh. So... Well, these golems are hard as shit. They, they can, they I, just can't. From, I just got a message from Glitch. Hey, you! Fuck you! <laughs> you deserve to die, and you know it. <laughs> I know, but I'm not letting another one of his teammates fucking die on his watch. Look, <laughs> look, 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 Keegan, I'm just giving Nick content. <laughs> he, he, need, he needs it for the Instagram. <laughs> I know what you're talking about is the worst thing that he keeps he's running out of ideas with the post <laughs> i mean he's not but it's extra characters for him to face it's nick nick's never gonna run out of ideas no he's asked in chat before hey anybody got ideas what i can post i have no clue what to post i mean only really so... posted characters so so i wasn't paying attention who died no Nobody. one sadly i got Damn him it. out i got him out of there Damn it, I want so I want a dog after. to play a different character. You should have known. So I got so you, fucking lucky. You've all escaped like Baratok. Uh having blown up the wagon Keegan. and then getting your axes oh, yeah. handed to you by golems. What do you do now? We wait. Take a long rest and then head back to the brewery. Really, take a long rest. Oh, take a, take a long rest. rest to go to the the yeah, take a short rest then. Maybe okay. we should just rest up while we're heading over. We do have the car after all. One of us would need to make. One of us couldn't last thing because we need to drive the cart. I'll do it. Actually, I just thought about it. Having a long oh, rest in this place probably might be hell. So let's not do that. Uh, besides, we can always take turns in who's driving the cart. That's still mostly be a short rest, though. Yeah, that's a short rest. Okay, I'll just drive the entire way. We can... But with a short rest, we can pretty much get back all of our HP anyway. 
no, you and like two of you are definitely sleeping. That's that's um. No, I'm driving the car. Characters. No, They're I'm definitely the car. sleeping. No, 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 no. I'm driving the car. Cassania will drive the car. Cassania, like, she's uh, not I'll, here. I'll fight you on this. <laughs> All right. How I guess he's gonna right. He's gonna, you're gonna drive the car. Everybody else can roll hit die. Who? Because for some reason, Mark is extra suicidal today. Let me just find out he really wanted to retire this character. I feel like he's wanted to yeah. retire this character since he decided to put dexterity in his barbarian. <laughs> I'm, I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I, I've just started <laughs> enjoying making characters at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can do what I do, just have a different Roll20 oh. page, always active to make extra characters in. Well, time to head out to the wine, the winery. I'm still mm -hmm. amazed I actually managed to pull that through. I thought he was going to die there. It's a good thing I remember to have Wild Shape. Can somebody roll a d20? I'll do it. Crit fail. That's the only time I'm ever happy about a crit fail. I'm praying for a crit. <laughs> I don't know if I, mean. I think a crit's uh, Strahd, right? D20. Got it. Seven. Teen. No, seven. Oh, wait, no. I'm sorry, I was looking at <laughs> I'm almost fully healthed. All right, I you am, make no. it back to the winery and uh, drop off the wagon. Anything else while you're here? Ask them if they do have anything left whatsoever, like if they made any more while they we have no, up. no, they did not have that much. They did not make it that quickly. Okay. Would you mind if we had a break or... here? Because we are slightly injured. Slightly. Okay, he's beaten black and blue, and I'm slightly injured. <laughs> Finish slightly. me off, Keegan. <laughs> Finish me off, you coward. <laughs> well, you know, it's, it's still, like, morning, you know. Can I get, uh, Narc to sign a... To sign a can, I, can I get Wait. Narc to sign a paper that allows me to take all of his stuff when he dies? No, fuck you. Legally. <laughs> Legally. <laughs> Oh please, you're gonna do it illegally either way. I know, but you guys won't let me. God damn. <laughs> so good people. You uh, drop off the wagon. Uh, they don't have any more wine here. Do you now head up to head up to Krezik? Yep. Do you, yeah. you want to you take an hour for Nark to take some hit die? No, I think yeah. we should head straight on. No, we're waiting for him to heal. No, I think we should head straight on. So either you heal like that, or I'm healing you with a spell. It's one of the two. <laughs> I'll fight you, Keegan. Oh, speaking I of will Keegan, use all Kira... of my lay on hands. I, Do you know? I, I just hey guys, thing. I used cure wounds on you earlier, and I still had my chalice up, which means that you had chalice up at the time. You had chalice on you. Oh wait, how long does it take for the um, hit point maximum to get back up? Uh, good question. I think it's a long rest, most likely. Did you read hey, the guys? hits? No, I didn't. The reaction lasts until removed by the Greater Restoration spell or other magic. Oh! Congratulations, <laughs> Mark is at perm is permanently at twenty something health until somebody helps him. You know, there's there's rope in my backpack, right? Can I just you know hang myself? Because <laughs> frankly, using a tank with twenty six health is going to be hell. Hey, uh, everyone, I think we should just make sure Narc never dies. What rolls would he have to make if he actually hung himself? Uh, you would roll uh, oxygen. That's, that's, <laughs> an <inter> <laughs> that's, quite, that's quite an interesting question, just on the yeah, basis actually... of when will that ever come up? I'm assuming it'd be a strength roll, because your body would try to free itself, really. And it would be, um, hell, how long dog? can you breathe through your constitution? That also depends on if you fail at properly hanging yourself, because if you hang yourself properly, you're just going to snap your neck. Well, no, there's still more to it. 
Well, I said, I already said what happened to you if you didn't do it successful, if you didn't do it right, and I said what happened if you did it wrong. You would need your body would struggle to free itself, and then you would have to um see how long oh, you last. Oh, Justin's messaging. Huh? No, I'm not. I thought you were. I never got an answer. What? Did, did you not hear what we were talking about? And I'm back up to max of 26. I haven't really been paying attention to a lot of you. You were scrambling. No, oh, I asked you a, I actually asked you a straight up question, and then Keegan just okay. went into a whole fucking yeah, well, thing about it. Keegan's was rambling, so what were you asking? What what saving throws would he actually have to make if he did decide to hang himself? He wouldn't. It would be like actual suffocation rolls. So he'd just take that or he'd just die. No. Oh, nice. There's no saves for suffocation in D and D. If you start suffocating or drowning or something, you just you just do. If you run out of you have a certain amount of time that you can hold your breath for, if you run out of that time, you die. Okay, thank you. I that was my question. So, uh you take an hour to rest there, making it about lunch when you leave. Cool. Maybe we can find like a cleric or somebody who can cast uh, greater restoration. No, not right now. D well, maybe in Kaiser. That's what I meant. D twenty. Okay. How old do you? How 16. high level do you have to be to roll great? Uh, to cast that spell, sorry. Fifth it level is. Spell. Yeah, fifth or fourth level. So. How much it would it cost to pay like someone that. to actually do that? Because remember, I'm completely Good. broke. Well, it's Good already. It's already 100 gold to cast it to begin with. Yeah, no, I don't think there's going to be a way for us to actually get someone to cast that for us. I uh, like to point out Bugbeer is like 700. Do you I think like he would really pay for that? I'm that. not going to spend any money on you guys. D20 roll. In my, in my yeah, description, my character literally <laughs> says... Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, oh, Jesus! <laughs> That's an encounter. An uh... I you guys Fine. Tonight we dine in hell, boys. For pure reason of um running in head first, I really wish I get heist. So am I the tank now? No, I'm still the tank. He's a shit tank. By that I mean I won't be changing how I play Astral. He's not I'm a shit tank. He's a septic tank. Put on Ching. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the worst joke I've ever made. <laughs> that was fucking dreadful. You should have heard the joke he made in the car yesterday. I don't think I want to. <laughs> it was funny as shit. Oh yeah, was it the Keegan not getting any of that Gaba <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> what does it mean? I don't even know. <laughs> oh god. I'm related to them and hear their humor all the time, and I don't even know. <laughs> I, I feel like their, their humor is just like a pure um, summation of Gen Z humor. What? My humor is the amount of chaos that's caused in the world at a time. They're literally just random things that make no sense at all. I'm not even a Gen Z. I know you're not. I feel like this has just been my humor forever. You were a Gen Z before it was cool. Before it existed. I think it's funny because Andrew's a Gen Alpha. That's what their gen is called, their generation. It's alpha. And they're all gonna be psychopaths. <laughs> <laughs> I knew he'd fucking laugh at them. <laughs> Literally Gen Z humor. So yeah, I wouldn't get 5th uh, level spell slot until level 9. Go with the goosh. So pretty much by the end of this campaign. My... Or unless we go around oh, yes. and fighting everything we find. This is an Eventually, based off XP, we'll remember? 
Man, we don't we don't do XP, remember? Oh, uh, never mind then. Get mixed up between Nick and Zone. We should do that in Zone's campaign, just go around fighting stuff. <laughs> no reason. <laughs> go into <laughs> go into a town, burn it to the ground. The true murder hobo sense. So, as you are making your way up towards Kresik, the sky above you begins to darken as just it looks like some kind of crazy storm clouds have just rolled in and it's very dark, but it's not like hard to hear or, or see or anything like that. Like, and it's not raining or anything. That's like not edgy. And like uh, after a while of travel, you hear. You want to mute yourself there, guys? If your dog's going nuts. <laughs> So you hear this sound echoing off down the road. Uh, it sounds uh, like something weeping, like quietly weeping. Eventually, this weeping gets close enough that you can see the creature in front of you. The swamp hag. This it's got these of, um... two long spikes for front arms and two shorter, stubbier spikes for back legs. And it's walking on it's 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 walking on them and it's making its way in your general direction with this just creepy like weeping sound. Damn, that's edgy. You can cut your you can cut your finger on that shit. And as it spots all of you, the weeping stops and it goes dead silent. That makes me think of a witch from uh, Left 4 Dead. Left 4 Dead, yeah. Snaps fingers. How you doing, handsome? So we haven't what? taken a long rest or anything yet, have we? Nope. What do all of you do? I'm gonna walk up to it. Oh, fucking damn it. I'm gonna stop How you! How about we go around it? Make me try and stop me. Uh, you start uh, moving like up to... towards it? Yep. Hold on, before we do that, before we do too that, late. I like to cast a spell. Before we, do, before we do anything, I would like to cast a spell. Uh, move Protection back against good and evil. Okay. Protection against good and evil on, uh, on him. Okay. What are you using it against? Against? Yeah. Aberration, elemental, fiend, celestial, fey, or undead. I got uh, aberration here. I'm gonna say, um, undead? Sure. Oh uh, god, you're making me new. This is like the first time I took a tech, god damn it. As you get within 60 feet of the creature, it uh it points one of its long spike arms at you. And Fires it off like a <laughs> harpoon at your direction. Okay, that's kind of sick. Not gonna lie. Jesus. Uh, it misses. Everybody Why roll is it initiative. Advantage? I still don't know what I what I should do. Anyone got an idea which which uh I should pick? Can I do late, Liam? I said aberration. The fuck's an aberration? 
Uh, let's see if we're on Saucy or an aberration in front of us. Fine, fucking aberration. I don't know what the fuck that is. Tori, roll your initiative. I I did. Oh, I didn't click on my token. Shit. No, I did. Uh, I don't see it. So. Oh, I got you. Oh no, I'm talking about the enemy. So I don't. Do I see it? Yes, everybody can see it. Oh, okay. Well then, I'm gonna move here. Uh, here's what it looks like for anybody who wanted to see. Oh, that is definitely an aberration. In my opinion, at least. Uh, you fire your short bow at it. What's that plus four? Turn bless off. You don't have it. <laughs> oh. Uh, you miss. All right, and then I'm going to move behind this rock and end my turn. Okay. The Lonely. No wonder it's lonely. It's part 30 to, to there? Okay. Uh, it'll move up 30 feet to there, and it will once again fire its crazy harpoon arm at dog. Why is it always dog? 16 is a miss. <laughs> Thank God it was at disadvantage, right? Zariac. Uh, I'm gonna cast guiding. I'm gonna cast guiding bolt. I still got my last free use of that. How far away is it? What's the range on guiding bolt? It is 120. Yeah, okay, I can cast it from here. Range. Okay, yeah. Fuck. Miss. Okay. And that is the end of my turn. Birdbeard. Uh, just look at my spells real quick. See what I want to do. Ah, Bumboos hates us. Do you have a really funny spell to cast on, uh, Knack at the moment? What? I'm not actually casting it, I just want to show it. Here with him. I'm not actually casting it, just want to show it. Yeah, no, I agree, you shouldn't use that. Anyway, uh... Getting very hard to keep track I'm gonna track cast, uh, magic, magic weapon. Okay. To make my weapon magical. Yeah. Your weapon's magical. Okay. And that's an action. Wait, no, it's a bonus action. God damn. Um. Oh, and just God. for the extra damage, uh, just for the extra damage. Bless. You Second can't level. do that. I'll do and... two spells in one time, mate. No. Oh, I can't. Oh, okay, then. That's always been I guess a thing. I'm just going to attack then. Well, not well. This is really his one of his first spellcasters. Other than James Wild. We don't count him as a spellcaster, Kian. Well, that's what he was. I mean, in in fairness, Drew, I know, I know that, and I'm not a spellcaster either. Yeah. It, it's over, lonely. I have the high ground. <laughs> you can't win, Anakin. I've got the high ground DLC. All right, uh, as you approach, uh, the Lonely's face changes from the weepy face uh, to a sadistic grin. It's Slenderman. 18 hits. For this is my kind of guy. 18 hits, not for 11 slashing, for... Five slashing. 
Oh, it's immune to, uh... Immune to these nuts. Narc. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. It's me just slashing. <laughs> what the fuck are those from? Those are misses, nah, that's what those are. It's disgustingly bad. <laughs> you get a decrease to your rolls. Do you that's wait. literally a crit fail and a plus one and two. Jory. I am. Uh, I'm gonna move up. Uh, one second, because my shit had to get restarted. Oop. Sixteen hits. And then I'm gonna... I'm actually not gonna... I'm gonna stay here. Alright, okay. Uh, the Lonely takes 8 damage. The Lonely. Narc and Dio, I need you to make wisdom saves. Oh dear. Oh dear. At the start of the Lonely's turn, you take 3d6 psychic damage. Oh, nice. That's 11 psychic damage to the both of you. I like how I'm almost already bloodied. <laughs> Just from moving up to him. Don't worry, I'll heal you. Oh no, please don't. I'll make sure you're alive at the end of this goddamn campaign. The Lonely has advantage on attack rolls if it is within 30 feet of at least two other creatures. Oh, that's neat. Nark. Because it's not a Lonely right now. It's a company. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Nark is down. <laughs> oh. Oh, is he now? That's 38, but... Yeah. Uh, wait, is that one shot? No, it's just off, I think. He would need to do a 41 to kill you. Yeah. That's a shame. It was close, though, to be fair. Uh, you're grappled. Oh, and he's still holding on to me. Jigam, we need a healer. Buddy. I don't have any heals left, Liam. I used them all on him. <laughs> Damn it! You're useless. I mean, I could cast Aura of Vitality again. The lonely triggers <laughs> Sorrowful Embrace. Is he in the same space as the Zoro right now, or, or is he still five feet away? I'm gonna Are put you the grapple on your. Twice? First thing you need to do, Liam, get them the hell away from the thing. No. Also, right, what happened to the donkey? Wait, that's what? what I said. Make a wisdom save, dog. Oh no. Isn't the unconscious an auto fails? Nope. You only <laughs> auto fail on strength and deck saves. Uh, that's a death save on you, dog. Oh, isn't that two fails? No, it's one, because it's not a melee attack. It's not coup de gras. Oh, okay. Also, you're grappled. Turn that on. Oh, sorry. Zariac. Oh, it's also your other stuff, because you're unconscious. Uh, okay. okay, one second. So, first off, I mean, I need you to get him away from him, if you want me to heal him, because as soon as he gets healed, he's just going to down again. Good luck, I'm grappled. Um, and I'm going... It, just making sure... Is he technically in the same space as him? Uh, I'm grappled. He's grappled. What one is he grappled? I'm gonna cast Moonbeam on him. Okay. When you scroll over them, dog, they say what they're called. Oh wait, do they? Yes. Oh! 
I didn't know that. Thank you. Uh, Moonbeam. What's the deck save? Or con save or whatever. It is uh, 14 and I'll post the actual thing in chat so you can see it. It would be nice if it ha if it included the actual saving throw and not just damage. Yeah, I know. I I I, I didn't add this personally, so I it did that automatically. I don't, I don't like that that they did either. Uh, Constitution saving throw. Twenty one. Yeah, uh, that is past the DC. I don't know why it's saying the DC is thirteen there. My DC is fourteen. But either way, that's pass. And so that will do. I'm guessing it's not a shape changer then. <laughs> uh, instantly bursts to its original form. It is not a shape changer. Yeah. Does... I don't know if I'm. Okay, it takes half damage. Yeah, I Wait. know that. Okay, yeah, I was checking me. I was, I was checking you that. So you have to fix that now, though. And uh, I'm going to end my turn. Birdbeard. I would like to move uh, Nack to the uh, rock behind me. Um, Nack is grappled. Grappled. Oh, then it looks he like I have to grapple someone. Uh, how do you ungrapple someone? You don't. Oh. Mm. Both hit. I would like Chris to use seven uh, damage. I would like to six use Smite as well. Sure. Right on the smite. Attack. Roll it. Alright, second level. Smite. Okay, 10 damage from the Smite. Nark. And this return. Yeah, puppy. Make her save. Yep. Another fail. That's two. Oh. It, it's been fun, guys. Dio. Making a save. William, you mind healing him? I can do uh, that. Uh, yeah. what is it? Con was it Constitution? It might or be wisdom? too late to do. No, that. you're you're not making saves. It's your turn. Oh, it's, it's only on it's his turn. turn. Okay. It hits. You deal 10 damage. Uh, I get sneak attack. You do 10 damage. Oh, okay. Alright, uh, then I'm gonna move back a bit and let Liam okay. come in. Liam doesn't need you to move back. Well. He's got reach, remember? Yeah. And even so, I just move over to that bush over there. The Lonely. I don't mean to do that. Wisdom save. This, this, this is a bad roll. If you roll under 15, you die. Oh, is this me? Okay. Yes, it's you. Come on, Nack, you can do it. We're Damn dead. it. Damn you. Like, here's another character. We need to bring him though. back. We need to bring him back from the dead. You need to play my turtle cousin. <laughs> Nark is gone. Anybody have no! um, any kind of healing spell that we can cast? I mean, any kind of uh, revival spell? We're only, like, level... 5. Uh, Why the hell would we have any of those? Jory. Harpoon arm. 19. Uh, hits, but I'm going to half. Okay. Um, he's not, he's not, uh, he you he half it? Be, uh, he shouldn't be using, uh, uh, fucking, what's it called again? Advantage anymore. Yes, he should. Wait, he doesn't have any way. Thrives on company. Has advantage on attack rolls if it's within 30 feet of at least two other creatures. Uh. Uh. So, Jory, you take half damage from that, so that's eight. Damn it. And you're grappled, Jory. Okay. As it pierces you with a harpoon. And now, 
it uses uh also glitch. sorrel full embrace you need to the make next, a wisdom save jory the next character you play please don't run blindly into things again because <laughs> so this is probably suicidal. gonna get my this is getting my character killed what do you mean you were stood outside the entire time no no it's this safe. time what that was gonna happen either way. Uh, you didn't have you to. You took five me. psychic damage, Jory, and you're pulled thirty feet straight towards the lonely. Okay. We always could have went around the lonely. That's the thing. Yeah. The thing uh, is, you didn't have wait, to. Wait, started, me. wait, wait. It started its turn in my in Moonbeam. Yeah. Yeah. So it took its damage on its turn. Okay. Uh. Why do I keep doing that? He's rolling initiative on me. <laughs> okay. Now it's your turn, sir. Uh, and now I'm going to shoot him with my short bow. Sure, roll. Miss. And that's the end of my turn. I don't need to get closer. Okay. Birdbeard. Okay. I'd like to use uh, Smite on the second attack. Okay. Second attack hits for six damage. Smite. And you smite him for three. Or, no, for six. He has been smoking. That's it. Yo, okay. a one liner. Nark is dead. Dio, you're grappled. Uh, I'm gonna try to make uh, strength, right? Athletics. Athletics, okay. You're free. Alright. Uh, can I move? Like, am I restricted or anything? That was your turn. Oh, okay. Never mind. The Lonely. Harpoon Arm. Ooh. Far away. Oh no. Five, ten. There. Can it do that now? No. Okay. All right then. Uh, Lonely is going to. Oh, right. Start of its turn. Jory, wisdom save. Wisdom save. Yeah, because you start. It started its turn, and you were within five feet. That's thirteen psychic damage. I'm gonna die. Birdbeard. Don't worry, I got you, buddy. Twenty-five. Uh, lay on hands on Jory. Can you guys hear me now? Now, yeah. Yeah, it started its turn in Moonbeam, so it got hurt already. Okay. Jory. Roll your damage right, I'm back because up to you health. keep forgetting that. No, I keep, I couldn't speak, so I couldn't say. What do you mean you back up to full health? Oh wait, Liam, it's not your turn. It's not your turn, Liam. Shut up. Oh shit, never mind. Okay, for that, Liam, lonely, harpoon arm. Damn. <laughs> uh, that's thirty-nine piercing damage. Jesus Christ. And <laughs> you're grappled. Zariac. Uh, okay. Just so you know, Liam, I really can't heal you. Uh, Is this it? Is this the end for the party? I'm going to move the moonbeam onto him again. Uh, and I'm going to uh, shoot him with my, sh my short bow. Okay. Fuck! It's a miss. I don't have any wild shape charges either, is the worst thing. You're concentrating, by the way, so turn that on. Oh, right, thank you for reminding me. Birdbeard! Okay, uh... What was it again? Athletics? If you want to, it'll take your turn. Jesus Christ! Alright. That's a fail. Dio. 
All right. Uh, you broke the grapple, didn't you? you Turn it off. Am I still grappled? No, you broke it. Oh. Remember, you rolled a okay. twenty something. Yeah. All right. So turn your grapple. One minute, starting now. Give me one second, I'm lagging. Oh, I didn't mean to click that. I got it. Um, I'm gonna move. Oh my god! I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. You bastard! You see, Liam, I don't have any wild shaped charges, so I can't even turn into a bear. Gene, you've said that 12 times out. now. I've heard you 12 times. Story's character has a very strong self-preservation instinct. Yep. Guys, if you help me, I will give you 400 gold each. I can't help through stupid, that's the thing. What? It wasn't oh. even his fault. No, not him. Are you done, Jory? Yeah, I'm done. Okay, no bow attack or anything? What do you mean? You're well, yeah, on my way out, I'll shoot. Oh, well, no, you, you disengaged okay. and then dashed, did you? Yeah. So then, no, you don't have any actions. Lonely. Psychic leech. Okay. Wisdom save. Wisdom. My wisdom is absolute dog shit. Roll it anyway. Is he up the tank? You're <laughs> down. Dog well. shit. It's higher than. Yes, I am. Yeah, dog shit has the same modifier as me, who uses for spell casting. <laughs> I have 700 gold on me, don't let me die. Alright, uh, you're no longer grappled. It lets you go. Oh, cool. Ooh, lucky. Alright, Lonely is going to fire its harpoon arm at a uh, Zariac. Hit. Ah, shit. 24 piercing, and you're grappled. Is my hit point supposed to be 48? Did I just never raise it back up after the strong fight? I think so. Okay, I'm gonna fix that, because I'm supposed to be 48. <laughs> and with Jory's fleeing from the battle heroically, the rest of the party dies. <laughs> Good job, uh, Jory. A strength check? Hmm? You want me to make strength check or saving throw whatever it was? No, you're just grappled. Oh, okay. As it speared you. I do yeah. want you to make a wisdom save. Okay, that's what you're asking. Use his sorrowful yeah, embrace. Okay, you save. Uh, you take half damage, but you're still pulled 30 feet. Okay. 30 feet is... Straight yeah, in that right direction. Yeah, I was making sure how far. Zariac, it's your turn. Okay. He was right here, right? Or, no, he'd be right here because he moved 30 feet, didn't he? Yes, he did. Okay, then I'm going to move the Moonbeam back onto him. Right, Moonbeam. He started his turn. Damn, I keep forgetting that. He took Moonbeam damage last turn. Okay. Okay, uh, it's my turn. Am I still able to hit him? If you want to, yeah. Uh, okay then, I'm going to uh, hit him with the silver short sword. Did you take the half damage from the psychic? Oh, right, it was half damage. I didn't, I didn't know it was half. Okay, uh, it was, okay. Also, I make a con save for your, uh, spear. Oh, okay. When you got hit by that 24. Yeah. 12 or higher. Oh, Fail. <laughs> Moonbeam is gone, so it did not take that damage. Or no, no it, it did. did it did before it moved. It won't take yeah. anymore. So, there. Yeah. Why are you full of the health? I went 12 back up because you said that I took half damage. 
Yeah. It speared yeah. you for a 24. Yeah. And you take and half you took, psychic. So you still take the 24. Oh, I didn't see the other attack. That was my bad. Yeah, how do you think it grappled you? He never moved his health. So it would have put you down to 24, and then half of 19, which is... 9. Work. So you take 9. Okay. Liam, make a death save. Ah, uh, yes. Oof. One. That's one fail. Narc is dead. Top of the turn order. Say that more dramatically to me, Seven. It's the top of the turn order. That wasn't what I meant, but okay. I like that, though. <laughs> Back up incoming. Back up? Look up there. Oh, f what the fuck? Who the fuck is. Oh, wait, back up on whose side? That's the real question. Dio! I'm not too far away from the party, but I'm just hiding in a bush. Okay, so like put yourself in a bush nearby and use hide. Here. You're right in there. Oh, 16. Okay. You're hidden. I, I clicked it once. My game's just being fucking stupid. Yeah, you're... How many tabs or something do you have open? Do you have a billion tabs open? No, I've got two. Hmm. Do you have a billion just, programs running? I, I think it might be Brave, because for some reason, just it does. What's they brave? don't like each other. My Brave's working fine. Well, uh, Brave is a, pro is a program the lonely. like Lightroom. Uh, okay. Psychic Leech. Wisdom is, save. Wisdom save. Zariac. Oh, yeah, okay. But you also pay for your roll 20. Nine. Okay, this is gonna Did suck. Hmm? Did I succeed then? No, you took nine damage. Oh, okay, I thought you said- I, thought I, was, I was so confused there, you said nine. <laughs> Sorrowful Embrace. I think you're down. Uh, yeah, no shit. Yeah, you're down. <laughs> Zariac, you're down, unconscious. Wait, it didn't kill me? It you used Soulful to... Embrace, which knocked you unconscious. Hmm. Okay. You're at zero. Use your death save. Okay, that's what I was asking. <laughs> Shit. One fail. Birdbeard. Well... Guess who's dead? <laughs> we lost two people during one fucking fight. Thanks, I couldn't lose three. <laughs> there's, oh, a, there's something God, poetic no. about this. Give me a fun thing to tell Dad oh about. no! <laughs> Laugh at my misfortune. Jory, jump Dad out, do it. Everybody's dead. <laughs> Make it TK. Like, his token's not here. Yeah. So if we all die, does that mean like he died as well, or...? Nah. I don't think you're all gonna die. I think I'm good. All yeah, right. everyone who's hiding is probably gonna survive. Back up. Fucking assholes. <laughs> laughing at my death. I'm not it is quite I'm funny, not gonna lie. It's funny that we lost two people. Uh, so that's that. pain. Who's you? It's backup. Although, uh, backup's a, a bit late. slow at this point. Uh, she moved 30, she'll cast Magic Missile. Alright, that hits for 24 damage. 
Nark is dead. Dio. Oh, it's the enemy. I'm gonna stay in my spot. Okay. He's gonna hide. He's gonna hide and crap. Are you sure you're not a cobalt? Because you're probably a coward and uh, peg. The lonely. Wisdom save. Zarek. Okay. Wisdom a shave. That thing's nasty. Fail. Is you take a death save. It's a shame that um, yeah. other races can't learn rubble. Uh, oh. Thank. That would fit well for Jory's character. Alright. Uh, what? <laughs> you know that cobalt ability? That's I'm not an aberration. Okay. What the hell are you talking about, Jory? What are you on about? What? Jory, that, that's a cobalt ability. Yeah, and He's no. talking about the grovel, cower, and beg thing. Yeah, well... Okay. What the hell are you talking about aberration? I don't know. I, th I thought that's what he just said. Oh. He said that that would fit your character because you're such a coward and hide all the time. Well, yeah. I have an ev even better ability. I can put myself inside my shell and hide from people. And you haven't done it. Alright, lonely. Harpoon attack against the lady. Hits for 23 years. I can this is like an enemy or a teammate at this point. I mean, she... Well, considering backup arrived and then cast magic missile on the thing for 24 damage, I'm pretty sure she's an ally. Okay, I thought you said that he hit Nark, and I was like, okay, it's an enemy. Why would it hit a corpse? Oh my god, I don't you, know. you are, you, you are just... It Why uses is... Embrace. <laughs> Saves, gets a cold, takes half damage. Zariac, death save. Oh, look, someone should probably help them. You're gonna fail, or you're gonna live. I uh, succeeded. Two successes, one failure. Stranger. Watch him crit fail. Uh, be <laughs> so geez. funny. She's grappled currently. See, she's gonna. Cast another one. Point Fifteen damage. Nark is dead. Dio, you want to do something? Might as well just take me out of the turn order at this point. You're not gonna do anything, Jory? I don't know who that person is. Do I? Clearly killing the monster that's been killing your friends. Fine, I'll shoot it. I just put out I'm mad about though. that. Hit. Your what did you say? Damage. Glitch? I'm just saying I hate your character. Yeah, I've hated every single one of your fucking characters because you keep running in. I'm not a fan of your character, Jory, for running away in the middle of a fight that he could have helped a lot more. Great. Because you killed it. Well, at least two of them survive. Alright. Uh, Zariac. Make... Oh, yeah, sure. Use a bandage on him. You got bandages. Yeah. I'm using bandages. Okay, uh, that's a hit die. Do you have any hit die? Yes, Someone loot my five. corpse. Someone take Do all the gold. Do you have any available oh, right I now? No, I only have three. Use one. You're up. Okay. Ah, so I got max one too. Hold. Take the gold from my corpse. I'll do that. There's like 700 there. Don't lose it. Ugh, thanks for that. <sighs> we lost some people. Well, that's some. Sorry about your friends. And to be fair, the other one kind of almost died twice already. I had to save his ass, and I don't think he was very grateful for it. Well... 
I do feel a little responsible. It's my fault the damn thing got away. The fuck was that anyway? I'm not sure. Disgusting and a monster for sure. That is true. Yeah. Well, uh. Good to meet you, I guess. Uh, my name is Ez, Esmeralda. Um, it's nice to meet you too. I feel like I've heard that name before. Do you? Yes, you should think... have. She's a famous gypsy. Uh, what? Esmeralda's that, the name of famous yeah, gypsy. Yeah, it is a famous gypsy. Oh. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, perhaps load up your companions and. Yes. Uh, Can... You walk over to them and just start dragging their bodies because he's not strong enough to lift them. I'll help him. You're gonna drag them over to the. the yeah, okay. Uh, and I'm going to uh, take the gold off of um, Liam's character. I know he would have wanted this, mainly because he's very fucking greedy. <laughs> Okay, uh, Esmeralda will escort the party the rest of the way to Kresik. Um, I'm also going to take the magic items off of you guys, just for the reason of those might be... Don't needed. do anything yet. Oh, okay. We'll determine things next session. Alright. Okay. Uh, that'll be the end of it, dog. You can turn the stream off. Okay. Because I yeah, have to just even level from all this shit. Okay. okay. Uh